We're just here uh, to represent Cathedral, but also to talk candidly about what it was and how it was for us as uh, African-American athletes in private education. A lot of people think that everybody that's an athlete that, that went to Cathedral was recruited. When we talk about anywhere starts here, you talk about opening up doors, right? And you talk about giving opportunities. Now, when you come to Cathedral, everybody's come to Cathedral to be successful. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. In my class, I don't know about everybody else, but there was only one person, two people, that really didn't go to college. Right. One, the two, one became a fireman, and the other one went to a trade. Right. But everybody, 99, 98% of my class mm -hmm. went to college, and they really uh, stressed how good the education was here at, at Cathedral High School. The parents made the executive decision right. that this is where we were going to go, right. this is where we came. The environment that I was getting into, I wouldn't be comfortable in. Okay. He told her that I wouldn't be comfortable in it. Because I was, you know, I was a testy kid. I was, yeah, that's, I, I was challenged in the disciplinary arena's <laughs> right. growing up. Right. So. You know, you got to accept the people who you never, you didn't really grow up with, uh, wasn't from your neighborhood, didn't think the way you thought, uh, didn't look the way you look. The buttons that are pushed right. here at Cathedral, you may not like them at the time. That's right. You know what I mean? But what that did, every di everything had a purpose. Right. And it's like these people here, the teachers, they're like magical. You know, it's right. like... They say they care. They care, but you, at the time you don't think because they're just, you know what I mean? They ride you like a horse, right? Like I learned patience. I learned to have patience with other people and learned that I needed patience with me also. I learned tolerance uh, for people that were different from me and the people that I was different from. And so those are the things that it taught me more than anything. It's, it's all about preparation. I mean, the teachers are going to tell you, okay, you're going to, you're going to stumble, you're going to fall, but you got to find a way to pick yourself back up, and you got to find a way to, to not stumble again the next time. So if that happened to me this semester, okay, I'm going to go through my syllabus and make sure that next semester I'm not put in the same situation. So when you, you graduate from here, the one thing you can do, no matter whether you're a student or not, I mean, whether a student athlete or not, is you can compete. We need some help. Mm -hmm. So Cathedral gave us some help, but they said, you got to clean the locker room. Right. In order to go to Cathedral. And I was like, clean the locker room? I didn't want to do it. My dad said, you will clean the locker room. We're talking about challenges. The biggest challenge for me was coming, you know, from a single parent. And a lot of times when I would play some of the most fantastic basketball games in the world, my mom would, you know, she couldn't be there. She right. had to work two jobs to send me right. and my brother to private school. That's how you, that's how you pimp the system. You move to where your money will allow you to so that the high quality free education is similar to that of a private education, right? When you're around people that are successful, what it turns is you're just not a hater. Right. Like at the end of the day, like right. you, you want to be around winners and right. people that are successful. And right. so you celebrate people. We celebrated each other. We, because people celebrated us when we had our accomplishments. It just turns you into a person that, that's just happy right. in general and appreciates what you've earned and what other people work hard to earn. One of the things coming through that's very interesting to me is that people felt concerned and cared by the faculty and the staff. Right. And that really, I mean, we're talking many years since my time, and that's one of the things that drew me to join the brothers because I said, I want to care for students the way I felt that the teachers cared for me. To know that someone did something for us, right. and we until want to do something for somebody else right. to help them all.